Welcome back. It's time for sports news. Here's Millicent Walker. news. Rafael Nadal and Roger Federer will face each other again in the final of the Australian Open. Nadal survived an epic five-set match to defeat Gregor Dimitrov 6-3-5-7-7-6-6-7-6-4 in the semi-final. Dimitrov produced an outstanding blend of offensive and defensive tennis but was broken in the eighth game of the decider before Nadal served it out to set up the dream final. Nadal and Federer have met in eight Grand Slam finals including the 2009 Australian Open final with Nadal winning six times. Another epic final. Serena Williams is on the verge of making Grand Slam history 19 years after her first appearance at the Australian Open with only her greatest rival, her sister Venus. The 35 year old American made her Grand Slam debut in Melbourne in 1998 and won the first of her major titles at the US Open a year later. She has since accumulated 22 over an astonishing career, matching Steffi Graf's Open era record. One more on Saturday and she will hold the record outright with only Margaret Court's all-time mark of 24 left to achieve. And in Nigeria, the Rowing, Canoeing and Sailing Federation have selected 18 athletes for opening camping of the Africa Under-23 Canoe Sprint Championship in Morocco. The successful paddlers were chosen from the trials of Lagos in Lagos rather and expected to report to camp first week in February. From the 18, 12 will make the final list for the championship. And that's it on Sports News. Many thanks for watching. I'm Millicent Walker. It's back to Emirati for the rest of the news. Thanks, Minister. British Prime Minister Theresa May has met with U.S. President Donald Trump at the White House. Both uh, share an unusual bond as products of anti-establishment uprisings and discussed trade between both countries, NATO and Russia. At a press briefing after their meeting, Mrs. May said she is convinced of a trade deal between the two countries is in their natural interest and that President Trump assured her that the United States was 100 percent behind NATO, though Trump said he thought the alliance was obsolete. The U.S. president later said he thinks Brexit is going to be wonderful for Britain as they would have their own identity and be able to make their own trade deals with anyone. Today, the United States renews our deep bond with Britain, military, financial, cultural and political. We have one of the great bonds. We pledge our lasting support to this most special relationship. I'm so pleased uh, that I've been able to be here today and thank you for inviting me so soon after your inauguration and, may, and uh, I'm delighted to be able to congratulate you on what was a stunning election victory. Uh, and as you say, the invitation is an indication of the strength and importance of the special relationship that exists between our two countries, a relationship based on the bonds of history, of family, kinship and common interests. And in a further sign of the importance of that relationship, our two nations are already leading efforts to face up to this challenge. And we're making progress with Daesh losing territory and fighters, but we need to redouble our efforts. And today we're discussing how we can do this by deepening intelligence and security cooperation, and critically by stepping up our efforts to counter Daesh in cyberspace. Because we know we will not eradicate this threat until we defeat the idea the ideology that lies behind it. And in entertainment news tonight, filmmaker Chidi Chikere advises colleagues on how to capture international audience. Victoria Duhu has the details. Here are your trending entertainment stories. 
Award-winning Nollywood filmmaker Chidi Chikere has encouraged Nigerian filmmakers to improve their storytelling craft if they want to win over more international audience. The Light Will Come producer and director in an interview with Entertainment News and Channels Television said storytelling in a particular manner can see more Nigerian films break into mainstream consumption in the Western world. How do you break into a market if there's nothing in that movie for them? That's one. Secondly, ability to to dress Nigerian storylines in universal clothing. When you think I am a filmmaker, you're thinking the world. When you're thinking the world, you're writing for the world. Meanwhile, Nollywood actress Funke Adeshina, who contested and lost a seat at the House of Assembly in Oyo State during the 2014 general election, has reacted to a planned protest by celebrities against the state of economy in the country. The actress, through her social media, tagged Two Face, who is believed to be a leading voice of the planned protest, encouraging celebrities and other youths to get involved in governance rather than just wait for opportunities to protest. And to new music, Davido's music worldwide act, Dami Crane, teams up with label boss Davido and Ghanaian dancer act Shantawali to release the visuals of his single, Bechiti. The video is directed by HG2 Films. Banga, And finally, Chocolate City Ice Sprints is out with a visual to his single, No Mind Them, featuring Tanzania diva Vanessa May D. The track is off as Jaws to the World album. And that's all for tonight. It's back to the news at 10. And the main news again, 10 suspects standing trial, including the notorious Henry Chibweze, also known as Vampire, today escaped from the court premises in Oweri, the Imo State capital, after gunmen stormed the court. Governor Richard Sokorocha immediately put a 5 million naira bounty on Vampire and said his escape poses a serious security risk to the state. And U.S. President Donald Trump and British Prime Minister Theresa May have reaffirmed their commitment to the NATO alliance. The two leaders spoke after their meeting at the White House in Washington. And that's the news of 10 tonight. Thank you for watching. I am Amarachi Ubani. Good night.